guys. So I'm just driving over to get a salad so we can have a mukbang. I think I'm going to go to PDQ today just because it's so easy to run in and run out. I could have postmated something, but I sort of feel like I have to get out of the house sometimes. For those that don't know, my name is Carrie. Welcome to Vit's Vlog. And today we are gonna do a little mukbang and talk about some current events. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Welcome to Vitz Vlog. And today we're gonna have a little mukbang. I filmed a mukbang yesterday as well as a video for Friday. And I was so excited. I was almost done editing it and guess what happened? Yes, the file was corrupted. So I was totally bummed out last night about midnight. I decided I had to redo my mukbang today. Yesterday I did a mukbang with Chipotle, um, which I'm glad you don't see because I'll never get sponsored by Chipotle. <laughs> But today we're going to have a little Chick-fil-A minis and hash browns and a little orange juice and probably some water because I drink an enormous amount of water. But, but today we're going to have a little Chick-fil-A minis and hash browns and a little orange juice and probably some water because I drink an enormous amount of water. But for those who don't know me, I live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and today we're new a current events mukbang, and on Fridays, we're gonna try to do a review of a, um, some local hot spots in Fort Lauderdale, so that if you come and visit, um, we can give you some inside tips, because we all live here, and sometimes when you go off the beating path, that's where the best things are. So, uh, Friday, we're going to do a coffee, coffee cafe, coffee house, uh, reviews of three of our favorite um, three of our favorite coffee houses here in the Fort Lauderdale area so I hope you'll tune in for that but today we're gonna do a little Chick-fil-A you can see I have some chicken nuggets biscuits and tater tots and before we start on a mukbang I need to put a disclaimer so that everyone doesn't send me hate mail and things like that um, please I cannot eat all of this. I do not throw it away. I have an 18 year old son who comes home after school and eats everything that I don't eat. I also have two dogs, incredibly spoiled dogs named Kodak and Abby, and whatever we don't eat, the dogs eat. So I am a person who likes to graze every two hours and have a little snack <laughs> all day and sometimes all night. But <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to lose weight. I do love two things in life. One, coffee in the morning, and two, guess what? Wine at night. So wine is my downfall. I swear if I stopped drink, drinking wine, I would weigh 100 pounds again, but what fun would that be? So um, I try to stay healthy, and uh, this is not my normal breakfast. I just ran out to get this because my mukbang from yesterday got ruined, so. Okay, so apparently this weekend there was a Pro-life march, uh, there were a bunch of marches in Washington below the Lincoln Memorial. And apparently this video went, well, not apparently, this video went viral of this young boy, of which I have children that age, so I understand, who also go to Catholic school, by the way. We're not at the pro-life march. But um, the, um, there was a Native American elder who was playing the drum next to this young child, this young boy, not young child, he was a young teenager, and um, he kind of had a funny smirk on his face, and so it went viral that he was disrespectful, and um, everyone jumped on it and said, you know, you kids are just, you know, disrespectful and making fun of Native American, Vietnam veteran, and yada yada. And um, it blew up. People commented on it. Phil DeFranco jumped on it, ended up doing an apology video on Monday because the video that went viral actually didn't show all the sides of the video. Shocking. And actually, the kid wasn't you know, the thing that was made it go viral, I'll tell you right now, is that they had MAGA hats on. And so the press, you know, immediately jumped on it because they were, Don Trump was involved. So 
Anyway, really interesting because, mm, yeah, I'm on CNN right now. And I will tell you the reason that went viral is because the kids had MAGA hats on. Now, they were also at a pro-life um, rally, which doesn't help their cause because mm, seems a little bit conservative. So, apparently, the people released other videos and it was really interesting because there were other groups that were calling the kids names and it kind of just seemed like they were huddled there and a little baffled about what to do. I'm sure this was many kids' first trip to a, a, a protest, um, B, Washington, D.C., being in front of a monument like that, incredibly touching and almost like, you know, kind of takes your breath, breath away. And so imagine being a teenager and watching all of these different protests go on for different reasons and then have people start calling you names and walking in your face. And this guy was pretty much drumming in the kid's face. And he has every right to do that. And it was nonviolent, but um, the people said that kids were being disrespectful when, in fact, if you watch the videos, the kids are in the back of them. Um, what's happening here? So they were really baffled. I don't know. The whole thing was weird. Everyone in the press is just very quick to judge, and I feel like not all sides are always portrayed, whether they're good or bad, and obviously everyone knows this, so we can move on. The government is still shut down. I don't want to talk about politics. Um, what I want to talk about is Chris Brown being arrested in Paris for the 50,000th time. Sorry, maybe the 10th time. Who knows? Um, in 2009, Chris Brown beat Rihanna to a pulp, if everyone remembers, and I'm not sure why he's out of jail yet, but... He is. Um, apparently he was let go last night though. So, mm, this is really cool. So apparently there's a huge cold snap going on and I can attest in Fort Lauderdale yesterday, it was very cool. And the coolest thing is Niagara Falls has frozen and the pictures are incredible. I'll insert some pictures here. done so already I would love a subscribe again I'm trying to build a, um, a really interesting channel if in the comments below you want to talk about anything whether it's related to Fort Lauderdale or mukbangs or anything at all please put them in the comment sections below don't leave any hate comments because I'm brand new not that I can't take it but this is really a learning curve for all of us and I really want this to be a happy channel. I don't want it to be a news channel, um, but I like to talk about current events in the news. I like to talk about current events at home. Uh, we consider ourselves a Google family where only one phone is allowed at the dinner table so that whatever we're talking about, we can Google and check each other's facts and it's, it's kind of interesting. Actually, my husband does it constantly, so. Um, some really sad news over the weekend. One of my favorite um, team of YouTubers is, are the Dolan Twins. I find them so funny. And their dad passed away this weekend from cancer. And um, I wanna send out my condolences to the Dolans and, and their fam the whole family. Um, they're exactly the age of my oldest son and I I can't imagine going through that right now. I did lose my father this year, but it's not the same when you're 19 years old. He seemed like a really nice guy, and these kids, don't bother them, let them grieve, and um, just send your condolences on social media. Don't show up to their funeral or anything like that. It's their time to grieve and you know, say goodbye to their dad, um, but Ethan and Grayson and your whole family, our condolences um, from our family to yours because 
it's a tough, tough one, but it'll make you stronger in the end. And your dad is always looking down on you. And I know you're going to, it sounds kooky, but sometimes when things happen, I look up at heaven and I'm like, that was my mom or that was my dad. Um, okay. So Chris Brown was arrested in Paris on suspicion of rape and with two other men um, who were the singer's bodyguard and his friend. And they were, the three were released. Um, but, um, I'm going to see if there's any, so U.S. singer Chris Brown was arrested and detained in Monday on, in Paris on suspicion of aggravated rape and drug infractions. A 24 year old woman told police that she met Brown on January 15th at a club named Le Cristal in the city and followed him back to the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. According to the Associated Press, a representative for the hotel uh, declined to comment. Um, two other men, identified as his bodyguard and friend, were also reportedly arrested. All three were released on Tuesday evening as the invest investigation remained ongoing. Now, Brian received five years probation after a 2009 assault with his ex-girlfriend, Rihanna, where he beat her to a pulp. Beat her to a pulp. If anyone remembers that, I'm going to insert, insert a picture here of Rihanna's face after Chris Brown was done with her in the car. I think they were going to the Grammys, if I remember correctly. And he... He was later arrested on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon in 2016. He also was arrested in 2017 after he... Um, beat a photographer for taking his picture. I mean, Chris Brown is getting to the age where he really needs to grow up. Come on, man, you are, you know, I just don't know. Um, additionally, he was arrested after he was sent to rehab and apparently he was in a um, family counseling session that went awry and he went outside and broke his mother's car window, her, her front car window. And so he ended up going to jail because that was a violation of his probation. If you hear a little noise, it's my cat and she finds this stuff and I don't even know where she got it. It's a spool of twine and she is just having the greatest time over there and I just can't interrupt her. It's all over my floor, but you know, so he's just a mess. Um, I will say that I love Chris Brown's music. If he just, you know, would stick to playing music and maybe avoid women. I don't know. There's something going on, but this has been going on for a long time. That was kind of yucky. Um, but, um, it goes on for too long. Here, baby. Want chicken? It's my dog, Kodak, and he likes chicken. See, I told you nothing goes to waste here. Um, so, Chris um, Brown on Instagram wrote, light bulb, <clears throat> quotations, light bulb, I, in all caps, want to make it perfectly clear, dot, 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 this is false and a whole lot of cap. I think he meant crap, exclamation. Uh, ne neve, like a bunch of N's, E's, and B's. For my daughter and my family, this is so disrespectful and against my character and mora morals. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Do you actually believe that? I hope that you just get in some counseling and redo your life because you have every opportunity you're getting. Um, you're getting too old for this, Chris Brown. I'm too well known. And now you're becoming, you know, now you're becoming a target. So you need to realize that your actions have consequences. And I tell my kids this all the time, but okay. Another one, Chris Brown is facing six months in jail for owning an exotic monkey. And a woman alleges she was raped while repeatedly while trapped at Chris Brown's house. Um, that was from BuzzFeed in May 9th, 2018. A woman alleges in a lawsuit filed Wednesday that she was trapped at singer Chris Brown's house 
where she was for forced to join an orgy before being raped multiple times by rapper Young Lo. Okay. So, I always tell my kids, where there's smoke, there's usually fire. I'm getting full. So don't yell at me. I, I can't even eat the bread. But, um, I have another tea tot. So don't send me hate mail. I ate exactly what I told you what I, I would eat. And I will be putting this in the fridge for my children. My son, not my children. I have one son, senior in high school, and one son who is in college. My oldest son is in college in Dublin, Ireland at Trinity College. So he won't be eating this today. Um, and we're gonna talk about um, on one of our videos about going to college abroad and how, why he chose that and why actually my second son is going to go there as well. And um, a lot of people ask us how it even came to fruition and I'm going to talk about that. Um, as I said before, our Friday video is going to be a review of so, uh, three local coffee houses in the area and um, the, we tested their ice co I tested their iced coffee. And I'm going to give you a review of exactly each coffee, and they were all fantastic, but I definitely had a favorite. So please tune in Friday for that. Um, if there's anything you want to talk about, please list it in the comments below. This is meant to be fun. It's not meant to be controversial. It's not meant to be, you know, it's a mukbang. So um, the other thing is I just recently left my job. I actually had a small business that I closed down. This is why I'm doing this now. And for the past year, I haven't cleaned my closets out. Actually, probably two years. So if you guys would like to see my closet haul, I'm going to take everything out and redo everything. My husband in my closet. I think I might film it. I don't know if it would be boring, but i got to go through everything. I just have so much stuff, whether it's jewelry or anything. Last week I did go through the bathroom. I threw away all my old cosmetics from, you know, whatever, how many years, and organized everything. My bathroom is in pristine condition. We can find everything, all our medicine, all our uh, brushes, you name it. Um, so if you'd like to see me go through my closets, I have a lot of closets. Just wanted to film a quick outro before my dogs start barking again. Thanks for joining me today in my first mukbang. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I was totally boring, but I'm really working on getting some good content coming up. Uh, we already started filming our favorite coffee shops for Friday. Um, favorite coffee shops in Fort Lauderdale, off the beating path. Um, please subscribe and like below. Please leave any comments of anything you're interested in. If you have any questions about Fort Lauderdale, I will do my best to answer them, give you my honest opinion. Please don't leave any hate comments. This is this channel is meant to be fun, and it is just my opinions. Don't bother anyone that I talked about, Chris Brown, Rihanna, anyone. Just please um, be nice. Smiles cost nothing, and the tea is always hot.